Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use CM Pivot. Particularly, I'm going to focus on how to query for software on uh, using CM Pivot on a collection and for a singular device. I'll show you how you can create a um, collection using the results of CM Pivot, and ultimately, I'll show you how to export the results. Let's get started. Let me start by saying that I've recorded this video over a couple of days and uh, later on in the video you'll notice that my shirt color changes and that's the reason why. So let's talk about uh, CM Pivot and where you can access. You can see that I got the Config Man console uh, open and I'm under the devices node um, which because I went to look at who exists within the all desktops and server clients, you can also see that that exists there. So I have the option of going from the ribbon bar or from one of the right click menus. I'm going to go for the right click menu because I want to show you for a collection. So I'm going to right click and go see them, start see them pivot. And what you'll notice in the title bar is, is that we can see that we're um, limited to the all desktops and server clients on this particular uh, case. And on the left side, we have all of our um, possible data sets that we can grab data from. And actually, the home page is actually quite useful because not only will it tell you more about what's there, but it also will uh, tell you about table operators, um, aggregates, all the, the fun stuff. So it's actually not a bad place to uh, learn a little bit more about um, CM Pivot. But I'm going to show you the installed software. So if I go over to my installed software and I go run this, I'm going to click run. Okay, so this will take a second. One thing you'll notice at the bottom here is that it says one client is offline in this collection, and currently I have zero failures, and we're just waiting for the remaining 19 devices that are in this lab to return results. And we are done. So what we can see, we still have zero failures. We've got... Um, 719 software titles in here. And one of the things that uh, you can do with this results is you can export the results out to a file. And you can see I've done this already, but I'm going to do it again. I'm going to overwrite it. And there you go. I've created a CSV of all of the um, results within my environment. So one of the other things that is really kind of cool is, you know, it's great that we can see that there's all these devices on here, but there's 700 and some odd rows. That's a little bit on the much to look at. So if I run this query, what, and I'll run it, just because, again, it will take a, a second to run, uh, we can see that we've got the cache results. And what we can see is that it's turned it into a table. So I can uh, look at this Google, Google Chrome as an example and see six. I can click on that and it will show me the uh, six computers that have Google Chrome on it. And you notice that the query has also changed on here. So one of the other ones that's really kind of interesting in here is we can take the um, CM pivot and we can have or have it create a pie chart for you. There, there are different charts that you can go look at the documentation for that. But we'll do a pie chart just for the sake of doing it. And, you know, at first glance, you're going, wow, that's not overly useful. There's too much data. And remember, I've only got 
19 devices. This is what my uh, chart looks like. So we're going to change this thing. And my copy paste has failed. I think this looks good. So what we're going to do is just restrict it off to Microsoft on the whole scenario. And we're going to run this again. And we notice that the, the uh, chart's uh, better. So, you know, we're going to then um, change it and say, we want the, the product version of greater than 1928. And the only reason I picked it is because it was just one of the numbers I could see off to the side. So we're going to run that and just see what this does to the chart. So again, the chart's better. Uh, there's still too much data in it. And if I take this up to 50, clearly I've done this earlier today. That's getting better uh, results throughout the whole uh, scenario on here. So my point about all this is using CM Pivot, you can start limiting the data that you're getting uh, backwards and uh, back onto the tables. Uh, you can also get um, uh, tables and char charts throughout this thing. There's really not, it, it's your imagination is where the, the limitations come into to play. So one of the uh, things that I wanted to show you, which I kind of already showed you, but I'll do it again anyways, is in this particular one, we're going to go off and uh, get installed software for uh, Power BI, but limit it to this singular device. Why to that? Just to show you that we can and we can see that we've got the results back for that singular device. Throughout this whole thing, which you was probably not um, completely aware, but it is caching the results in here. That's why it's so fast on things. Now, if I click on install software and change it to a device, again, remember we're limited to a uh, collection. And if I go put the device on here, Notice that it's gone off and got the results for that singular device. And this particular device has 187 different software titles on here. This is quite normal throughout the whole uh, scenario. But I'm going to adjust this one even further. And... I'm going to go back and just show you all of the devices out of the 20 some odd in my environment. How many have Power BI desktop on here? And we can see that we've got uh, two that have Power BI desktop. Now, I talk about the gotchas in here and the reason in the blog post, um, the reason why I'm showing you this Power BI one is there's actually three devices in my environment that have Power BI on it. And that third device is the one that is offline right now. So my point about the gotchas is just understand that the uh, CM Pivot it does require the machine to be online, and because it requires the machine to be online, you, if you're thinking that this is the gospel, you may be slightly misguided on that. Just be aware of that. Now, the other one that's kind of interesting is we export the results, but I can actually create a collection of this thing. So if I click on the Create Collection, I clicked on it, all right, nice and slow. We're going to go all power BI uh, devices. We're going to keep it limited to the all desktops and servers. And notice that it's done a direct membership. And just for the sake of, I'm just going to go next, next, next on this and close. So the great thing about is now that I've done a um, CM pivot, 
uh, I've created a collection and I can do other actions on that um, collection. I can turn around and uninstall Power BI if I'm so inclined on it. Uh, I can deploy a software update. Doesn't matter at this scenario. Hopefully all that makes sense. What I'm going to do uh, in the next section is I'm going to convert over to the to uh, a device uh, CM pivot. So in this section, I'm going to show you how to use CM pivot against a single device. So I'm going to pick my personal laptop here. We're going to go CM pivot on here. And in the top, we can notice that it's got the uh, Lens 02. The interface, everything looks exactly the same. But I'm going to um, run this query. And what I'm going to show you is, uh, if you remember in the previous section, I ran it for this device. And um, I think there was like an 185 software titles on it or something like that yeah 185 software titles on here so notice that I didn't have to um, say where device equals so I can put in that exact same thing here and I can go run query and oh, here comes one of my other gotchas in, in this scenario. And this one catches me all the time. And that is that um, KQL is case sensitive. So you notice the, the, the where, it's all black. As soon as I change that to lowercase, it changes to blue on that. And this query can run throughout this thing. Is that a big deal? Well, it's an annoyance. Let's just put it that way. It, it regularly catches me. Uh, and I go, what the heck? So, so my point being is um, you don't need to do the where device equals when you're uh, using a device CM pivot. You can if you want. The same restrictions on... Uh, if I want to go look at where product name equals Power BI, and I go run this, you'll notice that it's there. Notice again, it was from return from cached results on the whole scenario. Again, I can do my charts and tables. In this particular instance, uh, it's not going to be overly useful, um, but. That is using CM pivot. Um, that is using CM pivot on a uh, device. Hopefully, you found this um, video useful. And like always, I uh, ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and also go off to the Ask Garth blog site and subscribe to its newsletter. This way you can stay on top of all the content as I release it. If you have any questions, feel free to touch base with me. Until next time.